With the relatively disappointing release of Capcom's Street Fighter Alpha 2, we weren't expecting much from Star Gladiator, but boy, were we surprised. The opening sequence is masterful and exciting. It establishes the tech theme of the game and showcases the outstanding graphics. Although futuristic settings are often too dark and fakey in video games, Star Gladiator pulls it off with an obvious but welcome imitation of Star Wars. Many characters have striking resemblances to the epic series. Hayato wields what is undeniably some sort of lightsaber. Gamoff is a big Ewok, our favorite, most powerful character, and Bill Stein has an evil aura like that of Darth Vader. Other quasi-similarities are June, who may represent Princess Leia, Geralt, who looks a bit like Billy D. Williams, Vector, a beefed up stormtrooper, Gore, an ugly guy with a big robe like the Emperor, and Saturn, a taller, greener, younger Yoda. Okay, maybe we're stretching it a little bit, but nevertheless, the similarities do exist. Incidentally, the only other characters in the game are Rimgal and Zelkin. Rimgal is practically a raptor from the movie Jurassic Park, and Zelkin is a majestic bird with a wingspan that packs a wallop. The graphics are rich in detail, from the characters and their animation to the camera movement and backgrounds. Fighting with the lightsaber feels amazingly real and adds a whole new dimension to street fighting. Now this is fun! Another plus is that the game design is set up to speed the game along. In Street Fighter Alpha 2, you had to wait for the continue screen to load before you could actually choose to continue. In Star Gladiator, if you die, press start and you'll immediately enroll yourself in another try at the battle arena. By the way, you can even fall off the edge of the battlefield if you're not careful. Cool! We would go as far to say that Star Gladiator is the best street fighting game ever made. In fact, it is our favorite, but there's just one big problem, the challenge. With only regular moves and no combos, a novice player can beat the game on the highest difficulty level. Street fighting games are notorious for ridiculous challenge on high difficulty levels, and the fact that the ending to the game is the same regardless of your selected character or difficulty level makes this flaw a little harder to ignore. About that ending, when we saw it, we said, what ending? No fancy 3D graphics, just boring text that scrolls against a space backdrop, and a simple space backdrop at that. Was this a rush job or what? How can such a great game end on such a mediocre note? Star Gladiator is an excellent showcase of the PlayStation's graphics power, and the play control and fun are top notch, but the beat it in 10 minutes challenge level is a shocking disappointment to an otherwise viable game. Too bad the first street fighting game that actually gets a good review on our show is, ironically, too easy to buy.